Hello everyone. Now we will solve one more question on the same radial line method. The question says that a hexagonal pyramid of base size 20 mm and axis height 45 mm resting on its base on HP such that one base edge is perpendicular to VP. So hexagonal pyramid is given. It means this is the question of radial line pyramid hexagon six sides base size 20 axis height 45 resting on its base such that one base edge is perpendicular to VP means perpendicular to XY right after that it is given it is cut by a section plane first we will solve up to this the light portion then we will do the additional the sectioning it is cut by a section plane passing through the midpoint on its axis at an angle of 45 degree to the base develop the truncated pyramid this is the same question how we develop the truncated hexagonal prism only the difference is this method is pyramid so uh, method is radial line for pyramid so we will see method is radial line for development of pyramid we will see how to uh, make the truncated pyramid so first we will solve the question just similar to the normal hexagon but here I will teach you few new things so I will not go for that part uh, what we have discussed in the normal uh, hexagon it is one base edge perpendicular so we will take one base edge perpendicular base edge is 20 so I'll directly take one base edge perpendicular to xy 20 now i will complete the hexagon how we do that internal angle we know the internal angle what is that 180 minus 360 by n so it is coming 20 120 so i am taking 120 angle on this side so it is how much 20 on this side then after that again 120 and base edge is given 20 like this again 120 like this after that again 120 120 and then take 20 and then the closing edge so this is the hexagon now it is a hexagonal pyramid so it means I have to join the apex also and directly we can make the dark means you can join the corners of the base edge and you will get the apex so this is the top view of a hexagonal pyramid if I give the numbering extreme left side 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this will be the apex now we will go for the front view first take the projection line on xy from every corner point of base now this is the apex so same will be the axis height this is the axis also so axis height is given axis height is given 45 so from this point i have to take the axis height 45 so this is the axis height i will join it like this and I will not make it dark because I have to modify it this is the question of truncated pyramid so I'm making it light only right so if I give the numbering this is 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash outside this is 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash inside the same rule which we follow in the development of a prism right now first we will develop it without sectioning the same development what we have done in the last question so any gap here parallel to xy you will take any gap so this is the point o now i told you we have to take the arc here means for the outermost slant height you will take the arc and you will draw the arc and on that arc you will cut the edges but the condition is that that edge slant height it should be the true slant height you have to verify i told you in the previous question also there are two slant height o dash 3 dash and o dash 1 dash or o dash 1 6 dash and o dash 4 dash but if you see in the top view o, o 3 o 4 o 6 o 1 none of them is parallel to xy line so o dash 3 dash o dash 4 dash o dash 1 dash o dash 3 dash no base this uh, slant height is the true slant height you can see here now in this question we have to find out the true slant height how to find out the question is or the condition is o dash 3 dash 
this O3 will be the true slant height if it is parallel to xy. So it is not parallel, we will make it parallel means condition is this is O3. If this is parallel to xy, then it will give you the true slant height. So we will make it parallel means how we will do. So from O point, if I draw the horizontal line means this is the condition. If the O3 is like this, I will make it little dark so that you can see this, but otherwise it should be very light. So O3. If O3 rather than going in this way, if the line is on this, then it will become parallel to XY. So what we do, put the compass at O point, open up to 3 like this and draw the arc. So you get one point. Actually what we did, try to understand, this is O point, this is 3 point. This is inclined like this. Now it will give us two slant height when it is parallel. So what I did? I have taken the same length but I rotated to make it parallel same I take the arc so you get this point let's say I'm giving the name let's say this is O31 after that you have to project it upward on XY line and from this point you have to join O dash so this is 3 1 dash this is the two slant height in the question right now we will take the radius of this much to draw the arc for the development now you can see here i'm now taking the radius of o31 or o3 dash i'm taking the radius of o31 dash the new point you are getting so after that you have to draw the arc of this two slant height like this now we will join them the same method we will follow but this is the sectional question so i will not make dark i will make the light portion only so this is the point one after that we have to take the six edges same like in the previous question six edges we have to take so this is one two three four five and then one more six right so i will make it light diagram because we have to modify this later on we have to modify this as this is the truncated solid so I am not making dark portion here like this right after that uh, I will make the base edges later on because directly we can make them dark So I did the numbering. Now this is the solution without sectioning, right? Okay, I will make uh, this dark so that you can understand. Because we have to truncate, we have to uh, cut the upper part of this co uh, truncated solid. So with bases you can make dark, right? Now this is the development of normal hexagonal pyramid. The question second part is there. It is cut by a section plane passing through the midpoint on its axis at an angle of 45. So this is the axis. So midpoint, the height is given 45. So we will take the midpoint 22.5. So this point is the midpoint. After that, we have to take the angle here, just like the development of a truncated prism. I'm following the same method. Angle is given 45 degrees. So I'm taking the angle 45 point here and then I'm making the angle on this one long one short same section line you know how to make that so this is the removed part from the object now i can modify it means after sectioning what will be the remaining portion if i cut and remove this part the remaining object it will have this shape only like this right now I'll give the uh, numbering here just same what we did in the development of a truncated he hexagonal prism and doing the same so O1 dash I'm giving the numbering 7 dash O2 dash numbering is 8 dash O3 dash numbering is 9 dash O4 dash numbering is 10 dash O5 dash 11 dash O6 dash 12 dash right after that we get these points 
after that we have to take the projection from this on this surface how we take that what to do you have to take from these points you have to take the projections on these points means i'll show you just give me one minute you have to take the projections from these points on this inclined line there are two methods if you take this projection line on this two slant height and then you will measure and take that surface this is also okay but otherwise the two slant height means o dash c dash e one dash and o dash one o one it is parallel now so no need to do in that complex way directly you can take projection from these points on this line directly take projections and th these are parallel to xy line just like parallel line method after that you have to rotate them like this similarly for the second projection like this for the third projection like this right we have developed uh, it might not be visible as i have to make it very light so now i will match the numbers same like parallel line method i'm doing the same method right so o17 so this is the point 7 o28 follow that so this is the point 8 O three nine, follow that nine. O ten four. O five eleven. O six twelve. And then again O one seven. So you get these points. After that, you have to join them like a straight line between the two points. when you join them you will get the surface like this right and then you have to join these edges also here also and when you did this you have to join these edges the remaining face edge also dark because it will also be present in the truncated pyramid like this so this is the development of a okay, now when you join 7 with 7 a 1 with 1 you will have the truncated hexagonal pyramid now we will do the dimensioning here we have to give the dimension to this part so one base edge is there so base edge is given 20 so we are taking 20 now here from which point you are passing midpoint that is what 22.5 so first we will give the dimension to that part this is 22.5 then we will give the dimension to the height of this so height is given height is 45 like this now here it is given front view here it is top view and here it is development of surface then you have to give the dimension to this also the slant height and we have to measure this because it will not be given so it is coming equals to 451 so like this now we will give the dimension to the radial length also so draw the extension line open the compass more than that the same way what we have done in the previous questions and then you have to give the aspects now this is again n into b now n is the number of side that is 6 b is 20 and we are getting 120 this damage so this is the solution for the development of truncated hexagonal pyramid